Hey guys, what's up and welcome back. Today we're going to be doing a foundation review. I picked up the Superstay 24 hour full coverage foundation. This is from Maybelline. I picked this up at my local Target. It was $12.50. It was on a 50% off sale. So I had to pick it up and try it. 50% off makeup? Yeah, I'm going to try that. Okay, so I picked up the shade 34 Soft Bronze. And as you can see, I got it for my tan shade. It's really hard to find drugstore foundations that are the right undertone when you're a light skinned or fair skinned person. So that's why I always go with my tan shade and I just try to wear a tan. I've tried to put on a bit of like a bronzing mousse to like match my neck a little bit better but I don't think this is still going to match so please excuse the fact that my neck is going to be lighter than my face. I'm going to be a floating orange head today. <laughs> um, but yeah, so we're going to test this one out today. So I've seen a few really good reviews on this and basically they're all saying that it's a super full coverage foundation and yeah, that it's like their holy grail now on all this stuff. So. We're going to see how it goes, and we're going to see if I think that this could take over from my Holy Grail products. Before we get into the video, if you haven't already subscribed, please make sure you do, and we'll jump in and get started. So this is what the bottle looks like. It's just a nice glass bottle. It's actually a glass. Um, and it has a nice like matte white lid, and yeah, that's the packaging. Now the thing is... <laughs> When I see a drugstore packaging like this one, that is glass and is only $12.50. That is a sale though, so this is generally $25. But when I see a drugstore foundation that's $20, $25 and it's in a glass bottle and I see a higher end foundation, for example Huda Beauty foundation, that's in a plastic bottle Really, girl? You couldn't put that in a glass bottle? You so could have put that in a glass bottle. You could have. Anyway, so for today's video, we are going to use a primer on one side of my face and not on the other, just to see if that makes any difference at all when applying the foundation and for the wear time as well. So for today's video, on this side of my face, I'm going to be using a primer and I'm going to be using the Kat Von D Locket Primer. This is one of my favourite primers, especially since it is so hydrating and moisturising. So I'm just going to put that on one side of my face. Mm, feels so good. Alright, so to apply this foundation, I'm going to use a beauty sponge. I always use a sponge, I never ever use a brush. I really don't like the way using a brush goes on me. For some reason it's always just streaky and I always end up having to go in with a sponge anyway to get all that streakiness off of the face. So I don't even bother with a brush at all. So we're just going to go with this today. So like I said I picked up the shade 34 Soft Bronze in store. This looked like a really nice tan shade for me so I grabbed it but I'm not tan so just excuse that. I'm going to start off on the unprimed side and we're going to see how it goes. I'm just going to apply it like I usually would, pump it out onto my finger and then just apply. Okay, now I'm going to go with my sponge. This is just an eBay sponge. I do have a comparison video of this with the Real Techniques sponge which I will link down below if you want to check that out. And well, let's give this a go. Okay, so once again, excuse the fact that the foundation is a bit darker than my neck. Um, that is really full coverage. It's not. 
not quite as full coverage as like my Marc Jacobs foundation, which I find is like the most full, full coverage foundation that I've ever tried. Um, but this is really full coverage, especially for the price. It's a really good price for a full coverage foundation. As you can see, this side's got a lot more redness just around here. Whereas this side, you can't really see any of it. Like it's there very slightly, but you can barely see it. Um, I had like a pimple up the top here which is basically gone now and a couple of my spots around here are pretty much gone too so it's pretty impressive I suppose. I did use one whole pump though so just keep that in mind. One whole pump ain't gonna do your whole face if you want full coverage. One pump could probably do your face if you want a light coverage but one pump ain't gonna do it for a full coverage. So I'm just going to go ahead and do the other side. This is the primed side, so we'll see if it applies different. Alright, well, um, it's more full coverage on the primer side, on the primed side, so definitely need to wear a primer with this one if you want it to be super full coverage. I use the exact same amount, one pump on this side as well with the beauty sponge as well and it's just covered way more. So I'm just going to add a little bit more just to even her out in this area. But she's just not as full coverage as the other side at the moment. That's better. Now they're both nice and full coverage. looks really nice. Let's have a closer look. The only thing I can say is that it's kind of going into my fine lines a little bit more than usual but we'll see how it goes a little bit later because at the moment that's the only thing I can say. Um, But yeah, that's probably the only thing I could say right now is that it's settling into my fine lines a little bit already. So we're going to put on some concealer and some powder. Let's put on some concealer. So I'm going to use my all-time favourite Tarte Shape Tape. This is Light Neutral. Just a little bit. Okay, so this blended in really nicely, although Tarte Shape Tape is amazing, so it could probably fix any kind of foundation. But um, yeah, so that's blended in nicely. Um, we're just going to throw on some powder. I'm going to use my Cody Air Spun Powder. I love this powder as like a cheap alternative to like a Laura Mercier powder, but it is way cheaper. And the only downside... It smells like a grandma. I just can't get over that. Okay. Before I do this side, I will mention it does dry down a lot, but it is still a bit tacky and a bit transfer. So, I mean, if you had really dry skin, then you probably wouldn't need to powder it. But if you've got oily skin, I would definitely be powdering this one. As always. <laughs> This powder just smells so bad, guys. But after a while it does disappear and then you don't smell it anymore. It's just the initial smell of the powder, just kind of smells like an old person or it works good. That's that's all that matters, right? Alrighty, so now that we've done that, well let's have a look how it looks now in the powder. It does look nice and smooth powdered, but it's definitely settling into my fine lines very quickly. It does look a little bit cakey over the top lip. And it does look a bit cakey between my eyebrows. And yeah, it's definitely really settling into my forehead wrinkles. Like a lot more than usual. So that's kind of disappointing, but 
we'll see how it goes and yeah hopefully it doesn't get any worse alrighty so what I'm gonna do is go and put on the rest of my face makeup and then I will come back and we'll see how it's going okay guys so I finished off my makeup this is a pretty crazy look something a little bit different that I uh, wasn't really expecting to come out with so whatever and uh, if you want to see a tutorial on this look I will link it down below or uh, up here on the screen um, but yeah so back onto the foundation it's actually looking really nice like it's looking really good I really don't have anything to fault with it with like coverage um, it's really nice and matte too like it's really really nice full coverage makes my face look really smooth and nice the only thing is still just that creasing it's just creasing in my smile lines and on my forehead and it's still just that little bit cakey just over here but I mean other than that it's it's a really nice foundation so far but yeah hmm. so far um, yeah it's going pretty well so I mean I don't really have any complaints other than the creasing so I'll come back at the end of the night and we'll see what my, if my opinions have changed by then or not but yeah I'll see you in a few hours okay guys I'm like dead I need to go to bed so I'm coming back to do my last uh, check-in um, I've already taken off my lashes because I've just been sitting there like so tired just wanted to go to bed Let's look at my face. So, everything looks really good still. You can see how that's thick come off of it and looks a bit gross. But it always does when you start eating food. Um, but yeah, everything else has lasted really well. Um, let's go on to the foundation. Foundation. It still looks really good. Like, it really does still look good. But... My wrinkles in my forehead look so bad and like my smile lines I've got caking around my nose my lip feels disgusting I don't know it's really hard because it looks really good like everywhere else but it just feels gross just here I'm going to have to wear this a few more times and actually um, form a better opinion on this one. Um, but for now, it's decent. I mean, if you want to go try it for yourself, I wouldn't be saying not to. It depends on what kind of skin you have as to whether this is going to work for you. Um, yeah, I'm going to give it another go because... I really want to see if I can make this work like 100% because the amount of good reviews I've seen of this is definitely got to work so I'm going to give it another go but yeah I'm, I'm just ready for bed so I hope you enjoyed this video I hope it was informative in some way at all I hope so um but yeah just go pick it up if you want to go to go like it's not expensive it's nice and cheap it's definitely full coverage and it's it looks really good like everywhere it's just a bit weird in the center bit and my wrinkles but I mean most foundations are so I'm not disappointed at all I'm just gonna keep trying it and form an opinion uh, later on because right now I'm, I'm kind of torn I don't know if I like it and I don't know if I don't like it so we'll just leave it there <laughs> I hope you enjoyed this video. If you did, remember to give it a thumbs up and subscribe down below if you haven't already. I'll link it up here somewhere as well and I will see you in my next video. Bye guys. Sorry about my horrible face guys, but um... I forgot to mention that uh... This foundation 
it oxidized a lot. Like it went like more of a like it just when I put it on my face it was more like that yellow tone and I just took it off and it's kind of gone more of like a pinky undertone so just keep that in mind um, the undertone might change when you wear it um, I just realized that again when I was taking it off because I could see it as I took off like a piece like a bit like I'd go like that and I'd be able to see it but yeah, I just thought I'd come back and say that as well. And also, that Jaclyn Hill palette, the eyeshadows have like stained my lids. That's how pigmented they are. <laughs> oh. Alright, now I'm gonna go to sleep. Well, after I take the rest of this off properly. <laughs> Night, guys.